Welcome to Leicester. Well, thanks, man. How you been? You right? Good, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard, you, I've heard a little room that you're a bit of a footballer yourself back in the day. You used to be. You used yeah. to be. I had a little time at uh, Luton, Northampton, and Stevenage. If I've still got it, I do not know. We'll see what your free kicks are like, shall we? I'll talk, you through, I'll talk you through my routine. Go on, then. Always take the same amount of steps. It's four steps back for me. Left foot always planted. Just one, two, three. Four, and I always stand my left foot in front of the, uh, in front of myself. Cool. I think because I used to watch Beckham growing up, and he used to do the same thing. I yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. moulded myself on it. Yeah. I always take a few little short steps, and then get into my just to get my legs going, get into a rhythm, and then always try to get as much pace on it as possible. So yeah. I'll give you a little go. Hopefully, it goes all right. Stop it. <laughs> you gonna have a go? Go on then. Don't know if it'll be like that, but come on then. <laughs> Right, it's a good, good strike. We'll see what he's got. We'll see what, what he's got here. Oh, right. mate! See, that was a good line. That was a good line. Obviously, coming to Leicester in the Premier League, obviously, you've got a lot of, a lot of good, good technical players, so I had to show them what I was about in pre-season to, to try and worm my way on free kicks. How do you decide who takes the free kicks on the match day? It's not like a set thing. If, no. if someone fancies it and it's on the edge of the box and say, I really fancy this one, then we kind of go with that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I fancy it wherever it is. Nice. Nice. Alright, here we go. That's a move. That's the good that's a good technique. What kind of music's in the change room? It's normally R and B, try that's what mainly you have to go with the majority what, what yeah, yeah. unless you have a set DJ. Yeah, so yeah, I try and get myself on there sometimes. Yeah. Go on. I've stuck you on there a couple of times before. Is it? Yeah. Yes. Who's got the worst taste of music in the dressing room? Well, Casper gets a lot of stick. Casper Schmidt really? gets a lot of stick because he puts on Westlife and stuff in the change room, but do you know what? I actually don't mind it. Yeah mate. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, hit the crossy. That's good pace. Yeah. Good pace. One of the things with the Premier League keepers, they're so quick and agile, you have to put a lot of pace on it. Yeah. Otherwise, they can just get across and make the save. Have the fans given you a song yet? And what's it like hearing them sing your name, innit? It's good, man. It's, it's one yeah. of the best feelings, to be fair. Especially when you've scored, like, everyone's yeah. singing about you. Yeah. It's a crazy feeling. Yeah, but it's man. the same with you, like, when they're, when they're mm. singing your songs back to you. With yeah. you. It's mad, because obviously, I write them songs just in a, in a room on my own or, or, or in a studio or wherever, innit? And, they come from this little thing into this big thing. Yeah. I love this little one. I feel like Ronaldo or someone. I my leg. <laughs> I feel like I get more pace on the ball. That's the one. Beautiful. Bottom corner. Yes. Beautiful. Right, Tom, you yeah. had your practice, guys. Let's see what you like in the pressure. You got three free kicks. All right, cool. So this is your first one. 90th minute, 1-1. One, one. This is pressure. Oh, mate. Right, number two, Tom. Ooh. Third one, we're into stoppage time now. It's the one. He's done it. Right down the middle. Keeper fumbled it, it went in. Tom, well done, bro. You want in the end of stoppage time? I know. Got it, got, it, got it in. Nice one for that. No problem, Roger. Right we're taking that to the uh, five-a-side pitch. Come on in. You what? 